Hello friends, welcome to SNS Ideas. Today I am yet back with another cool math trick and the cool math trick of the day is square root of perfect squares. So let us begin. First let us write the square numbers from 1 to 10. Now here is our question. What is the square root of 196? First let us write the number 196 and then group it into two parts. The first part will be 96 that is the last two digits of the square number and the remaining digits will be the second group. So here it is 1. Now can you see which square numbers end with the digit 6? Yes you are right it is 4 square 16 and 6 square 36. So here I have written the two possibilities that can be the units place of our square root. Now let us move on to the remaining digits or the second part of our square, uh, square number. So between which two squares does one lie? Yes it is 1 square that is 1 and 2 square that is 4. So here I have written the two possibilities of the tenths place of our square root. Now we have to multiply these two numbers together. So 1 into 2 is equal to 2. So as we can observe 1 is less than 2. Therefore we choose the lesser number between these two possibilities. So here the lesser number is 4. And we by default take the lesser number between these two numbers. So here it is 1. So this, uh, this is our tenths place and this is our units place of the square root. Therefore the square root of 196 is equal to 14. Isn't it that easy? Now let us try with a bigger number. Now here is our second number. It is square root of 7396. So let us start by writing the number 7396. First we will divide it into two groups. The first group is 96 that is the last two digits and the other group is 73. Now can you tell me which two square numbers end with the digit 6? Yes you are right it is 4 square 16 and 6 square 36. So now we write the two possibilities of the unit digit of our square root. It is 4 and 6. Now let us move on to the second group. It is 73. Can you tell me between which two numbers does 73 lie? Yes, it is 64 that is 8 square and 81 that is 9 square. So here I have written the two possibilities of the tenths place of our square root. Now let us multiply these two numbers. It is 8 into 9 that is equal to 72. Now we can observe that 73 is greater than 72. Hence we choose the bigger number between these two possibilities. So here it is 6. And we by default take the lesser number between these two numbers that is 8. So when we put these two numbers together we get 86. Therefore the square root of 7396 is equal to 86. Hope you understood this trick well. Thank you.